I started a ministry in 2005 called Ministers of the New Covenant. I asked myself at that time, what is the New Covenant? I remember talking to a guy one time that was working with me doing manual labor, and I asked him what the New Covenant was. He didn't know. And I said, you know, I'm not trying to be mean, but you call yourself a New Covenant Christian, but you can't tell me what the New Covenant is. I talked to a preacher one time and asked him what the New Covenant was, and he said, it's Jesus, man. Another person I asked what the New Covenant was, and they said, well, it's Matthew to Revelation. The New Covenant is defined for us in Jeremiah 31, beginning at verse 31. Yahweh says, Behold, I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. As a matter of fact, you'll never find in the Bible where the new covenant is made with the Gentiles. And then Yahweh tells the Israelites through the prophet, This is the covenant that I will make with them after those days. I will put my law in their hearts and in their minds. I will be to them a mighty one, a God and they will be to me a people. They'll no longer teach each man their neighbor to know Yahweh, for they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest, for I will forgive their sins and remember their iniquities no more. The law of Yahweh, that same law that was written on tablets of stone or in a book by Moses, is written now upon physical Israel's heart and mind. So in order to be a partaker of the new covenant, You've got, if you're a member of the nations, to find some way to join yourself to the people of Israel. People tend to think that your heart is now the law. Your heart shall dictate for you what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's bad. The new covenant is not that your heart or your mind is the law and that now you can just go by your conscience to tell you what's right and what's wrong. But it's that the actual law, the law that was written, is now on your heart and on your mind. The new covenant has not even came to completion yet because we still have to teach our neighbor to know Yahweh. We still have to teach our neighbor to know this law and that law. The fullness will come upon the resurrection of the dead, not in this world, but in the world to come. We'll know all of the commandments because they will be actually on our inner parts. It actually continues through the end of Jeremiah 31 and also in Jeremiah 32 and in Jeremiah 33 is the restoration of the land of Israel, the restoration of the throne of King David, and the restoration of the Aaronic priesthood. You'll find this simply by reading your Bible.